at North Carolina, and we'll come back to that real quick. I want you to read this. If you don't understand what it means, then ask me the question. But basically what it says is you have the right not to let me look at your phone. I'm asking to look at your phone for the purposes we previously discussed, for the text messages and your phone log, and unfortunately the photos that are attached therein too. Um, that information is only rel relative to this investigation. I'm not looking at anything else except for the conversations between you and Chris Watts and the phone um, data between you and Chris Watts for phone calls for times and dates for those phone calls. Um, and then the content of the text messages that, that are there. And we can, we'll write that specifically down here. Understand that... I don't if, want anybody to get some of those texts. Like, they have nothing to do with this case, and they're just like... Between you and Chris? Yes, they're just... They're just... So, just tell me what you're... They're just kind of raunchy. Okay, like, well, I don't need anybody... Everybody's an adult. I don't need them posted, like, <laughs> We're not gonna somewhere. Post it. Um, it, I don't need... I don't want the newspapers that, to get that. That's all I want. The I just only need ones that we would be looking that. for, again, is the same kind of questions we're getting to here, is things about his children, things I'm about still, his wife, the, the questioning of, did he ever, you know, has he ever said something to you that might indicate... Maybe not then, but now that there was something like this in his mind. Or you, you know what we're looking for. I don't need to come out and tell you that. I understand the embarrassment of particular photos or potential um, sexual types of conversations you may have had with Chris. Uh, it's, it's not relative to the investigation. We don't care. Okay, you're an adult, I'm an adult, everybody in this room, is, even your dad, and I give it to you for saying that stuff in front of your dad, because I'm not sure many women could do that. Um, so that's not what we're, we're after. We're after the, the information that corroborates things that you've told us, and also that corroborates or um, may tend to prove that things that Chris told us were a lie. You understand that? Mm -hmm. um, and that's maybe going a little bit far. I usually won't tell people that, but because of your reservations, that's what I'm looking for. If I can disprove something he's told me by a phone record, phone records don't lie. People do. Okay? So if I can disprove something that may be important, that's what I need it for. I'm not saying I can. Has it happened before? Absolutely. Is it critical in cases that I've worked in the past? Yes. So that's why I want it. Okay? Um, again, you don't have to give it to me. You can tell me I don't want you to have it. Go get a warrant. Um, I'm not even going to tell you if I go get a warrant, try to get a warrant right now. I'm just asking for you to consent. And, and again, we can write right here what you're willing to give me, which is the text messages and the phone log. And unfortunately, again, the, the attachments on some of those text messages. And I'll write it on there, and then you'll just sign it. Okay? Do you, under, do you understand the questions there? Do you have questions about any of the things that it says? You understand you don't have to do this. You're doing it of your own free will. And I know you're tired, so if you want to let your dad read it too. He will. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. That, that's a good idea. Can you fill it out before I sign it? Yep. And just you read it. If you have any questions, then we'll, we'll put on there what we're after. told me I would have got you some food. I got food in my car. It's not staying down. It's just coming She hadn't been feeling good. Not because any, just... Like, I got sick prior to this whole, whole thing happening, and then I think all of this compounding with the fact that I'm sick, it's just not good. I've not really been eating or sleeping much at all. definitely need to accelerate the case because the more long the more it takes the less sure that they are of situations but on the other end i think if we if you do just that only you tell me what you're willing to provide is that, me and is that good it? enough i just want like our text conversation and then i guess our phone call records so I'm going to put... Um, so the time and date of the phone call records and then our text message. Could we get photos of him? Huh? Could we get photos of him? Off of Would that? Would you mind if we got his photos that he sent to you? Oh, well, they'll be in that text message thing. So all his photos were sent? There was no apps or anything else you no, used that you no, guys no, no, were no, sending? No, 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 no. It was all just text messages? Yeah. Okay. 
So it'd be an attachment to a text that he sent you? Pretty much. But uh, everything is in the text and the phone call records. So like all of it. Because we don't have it on tape, we discussed prior to turning the tape on. Um, on Tuesday, which would have been the 14th of August, um, you had read some newspaper articles on the 13th and the 14th that regarded this case. You had also had a conversation with Chris at some point during the day on Monday. Uh, and on Tuesday, because of what you found, specifically what you said was, and I don't let me put words in your mouth, but you, you found out that his um, wife was pregnant. And I, yes. And you did not know that prior? No. And you found that out via the newspaper articles, and that caused you concern? Um, well, I just realized that he was lying to me, and I was like, well, if you can lie to me about this, what else are you lying to me about? And it made me realize that maybe his wife was in danger at that point, and it was day two, too, and she still wasn't home. What did that cause you to do with your phone, though? Oh, what, when I deleted those? I was just kind of grossed out by him, to be honest with you. I was just like, I don't know what's going on right now, but you just lied to me, and I don't want to see this come over my phone anymore. So I removed it. So you re just you already said, but you removed text messages. I deleted all of his stuff because he lied to me. I mean, that's what it was. It was it was the hurt that made me delete it, and then it was the lie that made me start questioning everything else he'd been telling me for the last few days. And that's when you decided to come forward? Yes. Okay. So just for context, yes. when people delete stuff off phones, usually we go, Hold No, on no, a no, 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 it wasn't and, and malicious wanted, at right. all. It no, wasn't no, malicious, malicious at all. He, he, he lied to me. It just hurt. Like, I had never felt like he'd ever lied to me before. And it was a big lie. I mean, right. telling somebody that you're in the midst of a divorce and then you have a wife that has a 15 week old baby on the way is a huge huge thing and I was very taken back and I was just it was hurt and so at that point I just I like deleted it I had a, I had a few more quick things to say to him and then I just got rid of him that's literally what I did. I just cut him out of my life. It would have honestly been like a bad breakup kind of thing. Like if none of this other stuff would have happened, that's what it would have been. That would have been the end of it. The information was not destroyed because there was anything in there that would be uh, harmful to you or potentially to Chris at this point, but harmful to you in particular. That's not what you did. No, no, you no, no. You did no. out of, uh, excuse my language, this guy's an asshole, so I'm getting it rid of him and I'm getting this stuff off my phone. That was like me kicking him out of my life. Okay. And then, like I said, and then realizing that he lied, that was when I was like, okay, maybe his family is in danger and they're not coming back and they're not staying with a friend. Yeah, when did I go over there? Tuesday morning? Wednesday morning. Wednesday. I called you Wednesday morning. That's when we started discussing you guys need to get everything that I just... You can understand the importance of... Oh, no question. We were... Like I said, people lie with phone records down, um, and they really help specifically um, establish dates and times. Uh -huh. I think we are, have a very good grip on that in this case already, but there may be a time when we go, we need to know something else, and then we would have it. We don't want to lose it, and that's, that's really what it is for us, is if we lose information that later on we go, man, I wish we would have got that, and we may never even use these. We may never even look at them, but if if we have it now, then we don't worry about losing it. So I appreciate you being cooperative and giving it to us. Yeah. So the first thing I wrote was text messages between Chris Watts and attachments. Okay, so because we're talking about the photographs, unfortunately, that cause you much disdain. <laughs> and then I am going to put a phone log for calls between uh, yourself and Chris Watts. Your phone number is 720 uh, The Thornton Police Department is going to be moved to my, so this is kind of, doesn't make sense, but we're here, it's going to be moved to the Car Bureau of Investigation. He's going to download it here, but I'm going to take it with me, just so you know, it's not saying here. Okay. They're not going to retain any of this. This comes with me. Okay. Okay? Is there anything 
else you want on there? I think that's about... That's it. I mean, I don't have social media. I don't really have anything else you guys can pull. Okay. Is there anything else you know of that could help us with this that is not on this sheet? Mm, uh, as far as, like, data? That's on your phone. No. No. I mean, everything we did was, like, text and talk, pretty much. I mean, and like I said, any pictures that I had, like, even if you were to restore all my regular photos, there's so many pictures in there, and you wouldn't even know which ones were for him and which ones weren't. But the one, any picture that I wanted to send to him, I sent via text, so if you guys go through the text and the attachments, you will have, you will have everything that wasn't said verbally and was done via text. But I think that's it. Like, I don't have, I don't have anything else. As far as, like, no Facebook, no Instagram, no, no Twitter, no LinkedIn, like, none of it. So, um, there was never any of that kind of correspondence. So I think that should probably cover everything you guys will need. Is there any particular messages that I, would help me so I don't have to look at? Because whatever's on your phone, I don't know how long we're going to get back to. But let's say, there, is there a particular date or time or message that stands out to you that would be relative to, specifically to the investigation into this case, that might assist me in understanding why something like this could have occurred? I'm still in shock that this whole thing happened. Like, I, 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 like, that's why I gave him the benefit of the doubt for the first day, because I was just like, no way. Like, I didn't even think about that. I mean, murder was not on the top of my mind when somebody doesn't come home for an evening, especially if they just, like, had some sort of, like, heated conversation. It's like, okay, you guys are separating, you have a heated conversation, you leave for a night. Like, I didn't even think this guy killed his wife. I mean, that, that like, murder is on something on the top of my mind when I call one of my friends for three or four hours and she doesn't answer the phone. Like, that doesn't even process to me as, like, a real thing that is a possibility at that point. And so that's why I gave it a day, and then the second day I was talking to him, he was just, like, a hot mess, I could tell. And then with, like, the way he was talking to me, and then... That's kind of when I cut him off and I stopped talking to him.